welcome friends welcome to another video lecture of biovision academy and friends today we are going to discuss about fluorescence okay and phosphorus okay fluorescence and phosphorus okay friends so let's discuss about fluorescence and phosphorus student suppose that it is a molecule okay it is a molecule and this molecule is present in their ground state okay this is the ground state of the molecule present in their ground state and the ground state of any molecule is always a lower energy state is always a lower energy state okay and students the ground state and lower energy state of any molecule is always a stable state is always a stable state got it okay so in next step we are going to provide an energy to the molecule which is present in their ground state okay and the energy should be in the form of radiation okay should be in the form of radiation that is h mu and the wavelength of this radiation is about 180 to 400 nano meter okay and this is the wavelength of uv light this is the wavelength of uv light A student after absorbing radiation or you can say energy the molecule which is present in their ground state is now excited and leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state okay suppose that it is an excited state of the molecule it is an excited state okay it is an excited state and student an excited state of the molecule is always a higher energy state is always a higher energy state higher energy state and student an excited state and higher energy state of any molecule is always an unstable state is always an unstable state okay now student you know that there is a tendency of every molecule that every molecule wants to be stable wants to be attain a stable state or you can say it always want to maintain their stable state so after absorption of an energy the molecule which is reaches to an excited state is also want to be stable okay but an excited state is an unstable state so to attain their stability again molecule leave their excited state and start coming back to their ground state to attain their stability again okay now the molecule is coming back 
फ्रॉम एन एक्साइटेड स्टेट टू दियर ग्राउंड स्टेट ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेन द मॉलिक्यूल इज कमिंग बैक फ्रॉम एन एक्साइटेड स्टेट टू देयर ग्राउंड स्टेट टू अटेन देयर स्टेबिलिटी अगेन मॉलिक्यूल रिलीज इट्स एनर्जी ओके मॉलिक्यूल रिलीज इट्स एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेडिएशन ओके मॉलिक्यूल रिलीज देयर एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेडिएशन ओके एंड दिस रेडिएशन हैविंग द वेवलेंथ ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू 2500 nanometer and this is the wavelength of visible light and this is the wavelength of visible light okay so you can say that in their ground state molecule absorb the radiation of shorter wavelength and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state molecule emit the radiation of longer wavelength that is h mu okay student now i am going to explain the overall process again let's have a look molecule present in their ground state okay in their ground state molecule absorb the radiation of shorter wavelength and after absorbing radiation molecule leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state okay and from an excited state molecule start coming back to their ground state by emitting the radiation of longer wavelength okay in other words you can say that in their ground state molecule absorb high amount of energy okay and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state it emit low amount of energy because wavelength and energy have inverse relationship if wavelength is shorter it means energy is high and if wavelength is longer it means energy is low so in their ground state molecule absorb high amount of energy okay and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state it emit low amount of energy got it student the time of absorption of radiation by the molecule which is present in their ground state is about 10 to the power minus 15 second okay 10 to the power minus 15 second is the time of absorption by the molecule which is present in their ground state okay now student let's talk about the term fluorescence and phosphorescence okay suppose that we are going to discuss fluorescence first okay what is fluorescence student fluorescence is an instant emission of radiation by the molecule which is coming back from an excited state to their ground state so fluorescence is an instant emission fluorescence is an instant emission of radiation of radiation by the molecule which is coming back from an excited state to their ground state okay student what do you mean by an instant emission okay or you can say that why there is an instant emission okay student the molecule which is present in their ground state absorb the radiation and after absorbing radiation the molecule leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state okay the moment molecule reaches to an excited state it is start coming back to their ground state it means it does not spend any time to their excited state okay so there is no spend of time to an excited state which is responsible for an instant emission in case of fluorescence okay so the, there is an instant emission in case of fluorescence the time of fluorescence is about 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 8 second okay now 
let's talk about another term and that is phosphorens okay that is phosphorens what is phosphorens okay student phosphorens is a delayed emission of radiation by the molecule which is coming back from an excited state to their ground state so phosphorens is a delayed emission is a delayed emission of radiation okay so why there is a delayed emission okay a student after absorption of an energy the molecule leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state okay when molecule reaches to an excited state it spends some time okay and after spending some time then it is it start coming back from an excited state to their ground state it means spending of time to an excited state is responsible for delayed emission in case of phosphorens so there is a delayed emission in case of phosphorens and the time of phosphorens is about 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 5 second okay friends now let's talk about some another important term friends the molecule or the group which is present in the molecule which show the property of fluorescence and phosphorus are termed as are termed as fluorophore are termed as fluorophore okay so you can say that fluorophore is the molecule or the fluorophore is the group which involved in the processes like fluorescence and phosphorus okay friends now students you can easily observe that this radiation is interacting with this matter okay and after interaction this radiation causes some changes in the molecule so in this case the changes are molecules leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state got it so suppose that it is a radiation it is a radiation and this radiation is interacting with the fluorophore molecule or any other molecule you can say it so the study of interaction of radiation with the molecule and their effect after interaction is studied by using a technique which is known as spectroscopy which is known as spectroscopy so you can say that spectroscopy is the technique which is used to study the interaction of radiation with the molecule interaction okay now the last important term student is stoke shift is stoke shift what is stoke shift students you can observe during the process of fluorescence and phosphorescence molecule in their ground state absorb the radiation of shorter wavelength okay and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state it emit the radiation of longer wavelength so there is a shift of wavelength from shorter wavelength to longer wavelength so the process in which wavelength is shifted from shorter wavelength to longer wavelength is termed as stoke shift is termed as stoke shift okay shorter to longer and what is shifted that is the wavelength that is shifted okay that is shift 
Continuous strain. So the stroke shift is a process in which wavelength is shifted from shorter wavelength to longer wavelength. Okay, friends. So this is an overall idea about the fluorescence and phosphorescence. Okay, friends. In our next video lecture, we will discuss about why there is a delayed emission in case of phosphorescence and why there is an instant emission in case of fluorescence. Okay. And we will also discuss some more differences between the fluorescence and phosphorescence. Okay, friends. I hope this video will help you to understand about the fluorescence and phosphorescence. So, if you like this video, then please share this video with your friends and please do subscribe our channel. And when you are subscribing our channel, then please don't forget to press the bell icon. So next time when we upload a new video, you will get the notification. Okay, friends. Thank you for your presenceful hearing. Have a nice day.